Hello, I'm Miss Ritson and I'm going to read to you a poem called Colonel Fazakli by Charles Causley. Colonel Fazakli, Butterworth Toast, brought an old castle complete with a ghost. But someone or other forgot to declare to Colonel Fazak that Spectre was there. On the very first evening while waiting to dine, the Colonel was taking a fine sherry wine when the ghost with a furious flash and a flare shot out of the chimney and shivered, Beware! Colonel Fazakli put down his glass and said, My dear fellow, that's really first class. I just can't conceive how you do it at all. Imagine you're going to a fancy dress ball. At this, the dread ghost gave a withering cry, said the Colonel, his monocle firm in his eye. Now just how you do it, I wish I could think. Do sit down and tell me and please have a drink. The ghost in his phosphorus cloak gave a roar and floated about between ceiling and floor. He walked through a wall and returned through a pane and backed up the chimney and came down again, said the Colonel. With laughter I'm feeling quite weak as trickles of merriment ran down his cheek. My housewarming party I hope you won't spurn. You must say you'll come and give us a turn. At this the poor spectre, quite out of his wits, proceeded to shake himself almost to bits. He rattled his chains and he clattered his bones, and he filled the whole castle with mumbles and moans. But Colonel Fazakali, just as before, was simply delighted and called out, Encore! At which the ghost vanished, his efforts in vain, and was never seen at the castle again. Oh dear, what a pity, said Colonel Fazak. I don't know his name, so I can't call him back. And then with a smile that was hard to define, Colonel Fazakali went in to dine.